tit for tat. Boris shoots back Jurgen Klopp's slap in face, raves over taxi driver after car blast. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp has expressed his belief that the elections of Donald Trump and Boris Johnson were a bad sign for the whole world. Trump became the 45th President of the United States in 2016, while Johnson landed the British Prime Minister post three years later as he replaced Theresa May at No. 10 Downing Street. The former proved to be one of the most controversial figures in the history of American office and the latter's handling of the coronavirus crisis has been widely criticized, with Klopp baffled as to how the two men were able to gain power in the first place. To shoot back Klopp, the Prime Minister has sent a message to Liverpool after a taxi exploded outside the Liverpool Women's Hospital leaving one dead. Boris Johnson described the blast as awful and thanked the emergency services for their professionalism. The PM tweeted, My thoughts are with all those affected by the awful incident in Liverpool today. I want to thank the emergency services for their quick response and professionalism, and the police for their ongoing work on the investigation. Earlier Home Secretary Preeti Patel tweeted, I am being kept regularly updated on the awful incident at Liverpool Women's Hospital. Boris also praised the taxi driver caught up in the Liverpool explosion for acting with incredible presence of mind and bravery. As he prepared to convene a Cobra security meeting in Downing Street in response to the terror incident the Prime Minister echoed the city's Mayor Joe Ann Anderson in crediting the heroic actions of David Perry when a bomb exploded in his taxi on Remembrance Sunday. His cab pulled up outside Liverpool Women's Hospital and exploded just before 11 a.m. as the national two minutes silence was due to begin. Perry has been praised for locking the doors of his cab and escaping his vehicle when he became suspicious of his passengers' actions. Police have since declared the blast a terror incident but said the motive is unclear. Assistant Chief Constable Russ Jackson, from Counter Terrorism Policing for the Northwest, said the man who died in the blast brought a homemade bomb with him into a taxi and asked to be taken to Liverpool Women's Hospital. The taxi passenger died at the scene and Perry was injured and discharged from hospital on Monday. The dead passenger has not yet been formally identified. Johnson said, it does look as though the taxi driver in question did behave with incredible presence of mind and bravery. So far four men have been arrested under terrorism laws in the Kensington area of Liverpool, three aged 21, 26 and 29 who were held on Sunday and a man aged 20 who was detained on Monday. Speaking to the BBC the city's Mayor Joanne Anderson said, the taxi driver, in his heroic efforts, has managed to divert what could have been an absolutely awful disaster at the hospital. Our thanks go to him and our emergency services, and authorities have worked through the night to divert anything further and we've all been on standby and in constant contact to provide any support that's needed. She added, well, we knew that the taxi driver had stood out and locked the doors, we knew that early on. However, she added it was important not to get drawn into speculation about the incident. A friend of the driver claimed on Facebook he got out of his cab and locked the man in the vehicle after apparently noticing an explosive device. Another said he was left with pretty serious injuries after taking the brunt of the blast, according to reports.